Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. And in this tutorial, I am going to be refashioning these pants. The last tutorial I did was this amazing cutout of the jacket. As you can see, the pants are peeping through the back of the jacket. So, these are the pants that come with it, so it's a suit. And that's the jacket that I did. I'll put a link to this tutorial um, in the description. And these are the pants that I'm going to be making into cigarette pants. So I'm going to take in the legs and see how they look. It is a little bit big for me. Um, I think they're meant to be sitting on the hips. Um, so I've got the pants on. I'm not sure, I think they're meant to be on the hip level. My waist is about here. And the crotch is low. So it is too big for me if I put it onto my waistline. There's my waistline. That's where it feels comfortable and the crotch feels comfortable as well. So I've got the pants on now, as you can see. And the first thing I'm going to alter is going to be the crotch because it's quite low here. And I think these are meant to be on the hips because my hips are here. It fits comfortably, as you can see, on the hips. But I want it to be on the waist, my natural waistline. So that means I'm going to have to take some in. Like so. So I'm going to put a pin in there because that feels comfortable now. That feels comfortable. So my waist feels comfortable. And then all it is, I need to just taper in the legs in order to get the cigarette pound style because they are quite broad. Pound leg. Most like non wearing heels or flats, but I want to also shorten it as well. So as you can see, it's quite full. Hands. So I'm going to start from here and then I'm going to pinch on both sides. Pins. Pinch on here. And I know it's just going to be tapered from that point. A little bit here, I'll probably start machine sewing here, then taper it straight down until I get a narrow fitting leg. That feels comfortable. Yep. Okay, so I've tried on the pants and I've put pins in to indicate where I'm going to be taking it in. The first thing I'm going to tackle before I do the pants leg is going to be the waist. So I'm going to narrow the waist and also into the, cr the crotch so um, yeah all the way around around the back seam to the front seam yeah I'll need to take it in I do have a video tutorial on that technique and I'll link that in the description below in case anybody needs to do, do that to their pants I'm going to do that first so I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video so I'll do that first and then I'll come back and show you how to do the pants legs for that cigarette style. Okay, I have finished the sewing of the back seam. I'm going to neaten that edge when I come to neaten the legs of the pants. So the next step will be, because I'm going to shorten these, so I want to shorten the length of the pants. Okay, so that's where I want my hem to finish. And I'm gonna I'm going to lengthen it by I'd say five centimeters I think yeah so I'm going to put a pin there and that is where I'm going to cut so 
So that's when that's, that's going to be my length. That's where I'm going to cut, and that's going to be the hem allowance. And I'm going to do that first. So that means I'm going to turn my pants inside out. And then I'm just going to mark that using my sewing gauge, which is a very handy tool. so I can make my marks. It's going to be my cutting line that I'm doing right now. Make sure it's nice and even all the way around. Okay, there we go. I'll take those pins out now. in place of the hem, the transfer that the underneath doesn't move and then I can cut. same on the other side. I'll just pull this leg out for a moment so that I can see the pins. Because it's through both thicknesses and I just want it through one single thickness. So there's a pin. Take that out. Make sure it's just going through one the front leg. And the same with the other one as well. And put it back through. And then we've got a marker there on each side. Put that leg through as well because I've been cutting that. I'm doing exactly the same to that leg that I'm doing to this leg. And as you can see here, right, this is the front of the leg and this is the back of the leg. And you always find that the leg back is a little bit bigger, as you can see, because this is a seam allowance. It's a little bit bigger on the back leg and that's just catering for your posterior. So you want to make sure that you don't lose that. So I'm going to put a marker here with chalk because this is where I'm going to be tapering it to make it smaller and put a marker here. Yep, so I can take those pins out. So I'm going to start with the side seam first. Now I know I wanted to come about here and started to taper off like so. So I'm just going to put in here. And get my sewing gauge because it does flare out so I am, um, let's see, four, cent, four centimetres. I'm going to make four centimetre markings up until about here, I think, because it starts to flare out again, so it's going to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to put a pin there. It really does depend on the shape of your pants that you are altering, that you're refashioning. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to get my chalk. I'll we'll start here. And then I'm just going to use it as a guide to 
to mark the rest of my pump fully all the way down. You could use a ruler for this. You see, let me get my ruler. But if you don't have a ruler, then as you can see, I've managed to draw that line. Just using my sewing gauge. Yep, I'm happy with that. That's fine. Let's see. It really does depend on the shape of your legs and if you find that you do need to stay within the curve to adapt to your thigh um, your fat your calves I should say then that's fine you can follow that through but I just want you to go straight down because I've got that volume within my pants so this is going to be a really flat one to do and then I'm just gonna go into just taper that into the original stitch line. There we go. Should be fine. I'm happy with that. Okay. Now for the fat leg. Now we don't want to lose this fullness there, so you want to make sure that you push it towards underneath and you've got a flat seam in which to work with like so I'm gonna put a pin here just at the crotch area just keep that a little bit flattened yeah that's okay that's great and I'm gonna do the same again on this side there's almost that skin there My ruler again. And I'm just going to go straight down. And then I'm going to baste this because I may want to make it just a bit more bigger, just a bit more smaller. But we are talking about cigarette pants, so we do want them to be quite fitted. And that's okay. I'm happy with that shape. So the next thing I'm going to do, get a needle and thread. And from here, I'm going to start basting. on my waistline, show you the back, and we're now going to see the narrowing of the leg. So what I've got happening here a little bit is that it seems to be a little bit of fullness here. Need to get rid of that, and I'm going to narrow the from about halfway on my calf to the hem of the pants. Just take the camera down a bit. So I'm happy with the left. Once it's turned off, I just want it to be a little bit narrow from here down. Obviously, that's flared, but it's, it's, it's a good shape. I think I'll achieve the look that I'm looking for. The thing, the thing that is the problem with pants when you are refashioning pants is pants is one of the most difficult garments to get right, and it's always it's always best to have a custom made. Because all my pants that I make are really fits me really well. I don't have any issues. So I spent time in kind of perfecting the patterns that I draft from. 
So what I have done is narrow the legs a little bit more with this orange thread as you can see. It's only a couple of centimetres on each side. And so I'm happy with that. I tried it on, really happy. And I've also, let me just show you the watch area. I just did the un pick the back seam with a little bit of the front seam in order to see if I can resolve that situation with the bagging towards the back of the pants. So this is what I have done. So you can see where the orange thread is here taken into that seam. Now it's only still a couple of centimetres but it does make a difference and it does fit a lot more nicer on my body which I'm really happy about. So the next stage is going to be cutting this leg to match that leg. Because it is pretty even. Just gonna check that. So I'm going to use my sewing gauge and I'm going to just chalk, that's my chalk, just chalk that in, get a couple of pins in there to make sure it doesn't move and I get an even cut on both the top and bottom. going to chalk that in. Like so. I'm ready to cut. So they should be both the same length. Just check that. Yeah, they're both the same length. Brilliant. And then it's just a case of transferring the markings that I've made on this leg to the other pant leg. Do that with pins. Get my pins nice and flat. So let's pin all all the way up to the top. Right here, and making sure that. It is lying flat with the leg. All the way to the top here. And then repeat on the other side. So then to make sure that on the other side, because it's the outer seam, I'm going to See this fullness here? I want to make sure I don't lose that. It has to be within the pants. So I'm going to make sure that this is lying flat. I'm just going to put copper pins in here, one there, and one here. Just make sure you do that because you don't want to lose that almost that's in the back of the leg and then place the other one on top like so and then put the pins in again 
coming in towards the orange red because that's the new fit line. Making sure it's really flat. Do a couple more pins and then I will be done. nice and flat so I've got a nice flat seam here nice flat seam there okay next thing to do is just flip your pants over and then you see all your pin markings here and you just get your tailor's chalk or your mark whatever it is you prefer to use and you just mark where the pins are Should we put them into my pink cushion, shouldn't I? And then you flip your pants over and you'll see your markings for the other leg. As you can see, let's take those pins out. Now it's up to you at this stage whether or not you're going to base stitch. I'm a person that loves to base stitch, so I'm going to do that. Um, but if you wanted to, and you're pretty confident you can always start machine sewing but I want to fit it on again just in case I have any areas any problem areas which will probably happen around the crotch area the seat so that's what I'm going to do next sewn the pants legs so I'm just going to remove the basting stitch now and have another try on the basting stitch has been removed and all there is left to do is to cut This is the scary part. <laughs> and then do the same on the inner legs and the outer one on the other pant leg, and then I will be done. It's moving on to the next stage which will be to sew the crotch area so it's a case of overlocking the raw edges which I've done on one pant leg well almost one pant leg <laughs> my overlocker decided that she is not playing and I don't know why but she stopped stitching as I was overlocking this one so it just seems to be fine on both sides the overlocking um, I don't know so I'm gonna have to sort her out she's quite old but she's good and I'm gonna continue with the project so let's just pretend that I've overlocked all the raw edges and the next stage will be and I've also sewn the crutch just giving it um, a temporary stitch um, by the machine because I didn't want to try them on to show you and next stage 
would be to hem the pants. So let's get that sorted. That's quite easy. I'm going to hand sew my hems. I prefer my, my hems are hand sewn. So it will just be a case of just turning in the count the leg hemline like so. Put all the pins in. And then hand sew it, but I'm not going to do that at this stage, but I am going to try them on and I'm going to use a I'm going to use my dark grey thread and finish this video with uh, a basting stitch in at the hemline of the pants. So that's how they look. It's quite nice that. So I'm going to try them on and then you can see what they look like and then when I have enough time to sort out my overlocker I will go back to these pants and finish them off. Okay, so I've now got them on as you can see and yeah, it's a good fit. I'll just twirl around for you. And yeah, I'm happy with the results of these. So these are cigarette pants and yeah, they are a good mate. That's a good project, but I still got to overlock them or surge them and I still got to sew the crotch, but I'll do that after I've overlocked and hemmed. Um, but I'll leave that until day two, I think. Um, yeah, I'm happy with those. But I'm going to show off now. I'm going to put on my jacket that I did in my last project so that you can see it has a suit. the camera up in a minute so that you can have a look at the back of it and just show you the back. There is a hole. Really nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on how to make a pair of pants, well, a full leg pants into a cigarette pants. Um, I've enjoyed it. They fit well. They look great with the jacket. I've still got the jacket on. Yeah, I'm still supporting them both. <laughs> if, you, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and do share. And if you have any ideas for tutorials that you want me to do as far as refashioning, please let me know in the comments below and I see you next time.